how to captivate your audience from start to finish. This is the question I get asked in my DMs almost every single day. The answer is that you need to make sure you hook them in from the very first second you open your mouth. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khalila Lista. I'm the founder of Power of Voice Academy and a TEDx speaking coach. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reacting to different videos, answering that question for you. The answer to how to captivate your audience is to make sure you captivate them from the beginning. And to do that, you need to have some amazing intros under your belt so that the very first sentence you say captivates your audience. So what I thought I would do is randomly scroll on my favorite platform for speakers. Of course, you guessed it. TEDx didn't take a genius, did it? <laughs> what I think is really good about TEDx is that speakers spend a lot of time preparing. So we know that majority of the talks on there have had intentional intros for us to react to. So let's unlock some of the great intros that I can help you really ensure you captivate your audience as a speaker. Let's go. Okay, we've typed TEDx in, let's see. I'm going to pause it, pause the sound, but I can see what's happening here. What they've done is before the speakers come out, they've got a captivating video because look what he's doing. There is no words that he could ever say that would do justice for us as the audience than seeing him doing this. Absolutely incredible. So if you're someone who's going to be speaking about something amazing you've done and you've got videos, use it. We actually call this a sizzle reel where you're using proof of your work in anything that you're doing before you come out. He's made it to the finish line. The audience are excited. And any minute now, he'll come out and start speaking. You don't want to do this video for very long. I reckon he's made it. Our hearts beating with, yes, look at him. He's made it. And I reckon he's going to come out in about three, two, one. Boom, let's see if I, if I know what I'm talking about. Hey. Out of the dark into the light. Buonasera, buonasera. Okay. Allora, l'invito è quello di <laughs> prendere un foglio di... We're not speaking English, so I'm just going to mute it while I, while I comment. But... Oppure so che avete... We're already captivated. We already want to know what he's got to say because we've seen that mesmerizing video. Powerful. Se non avete né un foglio bianco né una penna, immaginate, immaginate... Great, great, great intro. Okay, let's see what we're going to have next. Let's picture this. It's 1999, and I'm sitting in a small banquet room of a large luxury hotel in Amsterdam. Next to me are 20 other hotel management graduates. You can see me nodding. Love this type of intro. She hasn't introduced herself. That's so cliche. She can do that later. Look what she's done. She's taking us straight into a story powerful like i want you to think about a movie when you press play on a movie you go directly into the setting there's not hi once upon a time you know it's it's really you're bought in directly to the movie and so we're there with her right now we're going to be on this journey together and we're waiting for our introduction day in walks the very distinguished baby boomer head of the hotel and Oh, look at that storytelling in walks. Whoever it is, the audience in, is in, at a little bit. Whoever it is, the audience are in anticipation. Like, who is it? Who's walking in? We're there with you. Angelo. And he looks at us with a smile. He's charming. And he knows. And he walks up to the front of the room. And now with a serious face, he starts his speech. Okay, brilliant. So I really want you to think about this as a good example. If you're going to be doing a speech or a presentation, you can just start in a story. It's so powerful. It really gives that dosage of dopamine that I'm talking about that you want your audience to have where they're with you. We're picturing it. You've brought your speech to life and we want to keep on listening. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, who's next? Okay, next I have come up with TEDx Bayon. Great, brilliant, exciting. Let's see what we've got today. And as you can see in intro, I'm only reacting to the first 
few seconds most of the time because that's all it is you have literally got under seven seconds which is crazy by the way because when i first started studying public speaking you had three minutes to captivate your audience we are right down at around seven seconds now and it is because of our scroll mentality we are always stuck on social media scroll 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 so again when it comes to in person we've still got that same short spam mindset so we need things fast quick we are going to decide whether we like you and want to listen to you within that first seven seconds it's mad the answer is yes i did play basketball yeah okay look at that one liner addressing the elephant in the room she's tall the answer is yes, I did play basketball in high school, college. I can't remember what she said, but look at that. It's funny, it's lighthearted. We're like probably laughing in the audience, especially if people come from similar walks of life, they get it. They're just making that connection. We like her, we wanna hear more, good start. You can just come with a punchy one-liner that kind of throws the audience because they definitely weren't expecting her to start like that, especially with the title of her talk, which I'm sure is not about basketball. I, I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well we heard the laugh she did what she came to do i remember the exact day and place my entire life changed and i didn't even know it oh, nice. it's april 26th and i'm 18 years old. brilliant when you're giving stories use dates especially in the very beginning if you use a specific date we're there with you it's april 26th okay brilliant old i'm in the gym I'm listening to a podcast, as I usually do when I work out, and I heard the podcast guest in my ear say something I'd heard so many of these 30 to 60-something psychologists, activists, authors, and business leaders say many... Can you see how much more interesting it is that she gave us some context? She's in the gym, she's listening to her favorite podcast, so many people do that, and then she gives the point which is quite heavy, I'm presuming. She's talking about something quite heavy. And she could have just started with, 36 year olds think this, but she's given us a context, something to go with that's a bit more playful. And it gives us an image in our mind, which we want to do for the audience. Many times before, if I had the same mindset now that I did in my teens or 20s, I'd be miserable. Wonderful. And now she's really going to set the context up and be able to go in and deliver her talk. But she got us with that lighthearted first line. She's got us knowing the dates, seeing the imagery of her in the gym. And now she can set us up for the context of her talk. Next, we've got get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Nice talk. Let's see what we've got for an intro. I'm a professional troublemaker. She done it again with the one line. I'm a professional troublemaker. Like what? <laughs> Think about something that's gonna make your audience's ears prick up if they were a cartoon character. Be like, did she just say what I think she just said? What's a professional troublemaker? Tell me more. As my job is to critique the world, the shoddy systems, and the people who refuse to do better. Mm -hmm. As a writer, as a speaker, as a shady Nigerian, I feel like my purpose is to be this cat. <laughs> she's done something so fantastic here. She's addressed so many powerful reasons to why she's an authority, why she should be here. And she's brought in some little jokes, which, you know, side-eyed supreme. <laughs> <laughs> I am the person who's looking at other people like, I need you to fix it. Oh. How much more powerful is it to do it like that than to just say, I'm someone who analyzes things. No, she's given us, she's given us a great intro. This is phenomenal. She's a really, really great speaker. That is me. I want us to leave this world better than we found it. Do you see how she went from I to we? So she's been talking about herself and she's opened the conversation up to the room. This is great to do really early on because it's very inclusive for the audience to be involved. Wonderful, interactive. And how I choose to affect change is by speaking up, 
by being a first and by being the domino. Okay, some visual imagery here. You can definitely use slides. As you can see, the editors bought the slides that she would have had behind her into the video. Powerful, what's the effect of the domino? For a line of dominoes to fall, one has to fall first. Which then Analogies are great. Great for speakers because it brings, again, like a visual image in our mind. Then leaves the other choiceless to do the same. And that domino that falls, we're hoping that, okay, the next person that sees this is inspired to be a domino. Powerful, motivating, inspiring. She's definitely going to have that audience hooked, hooked, hooked on her every word. Being the domino for me looks like speaking up and doing the things that are really difficult, especially when they're needed, mm -hmm. with the hope that others will follow suit. For the people who are used to being confident, outspoken, everybody thinks you're fearless. So she's addressing that misconception, like just because you see me powerful, doesn't mean that I'm fearless, I'm vulnerable too. She's showing vulnerability. But she's also able to connect with the women or men in the audience that are looking at her like, I could never do that. You're so confident. And look at that. I could never be like you. And she's like, well, actually, I'm not fearless. So she's humanizing herself very, very quickly, which you want to do with the audience to get that connection. She's asserted her authority, asserted her likability with that little kind of joke with a cat. And she has made a great connection in the first few seconds of opening up as a speaker. I mean, it's a yes from me. Wonderful, absolutely brilliant. Okay, amazing. That was actually so much fun. I had so much fun reacting to those videos. I don't know, I'm a geek for speaking, what can I say? But I hope that you have found some takeaways that have helped you. I hope that you'll be going out into the world and really just thinking about ways that you can shock the audience, something different. Go outside the box, dare to do something that's gonna, if they were a cartoon, have their ears pricking up. Like, who is this? tell me more really creating that captivating instant and experience for your audience literally when you open your mouth whether it's a presentation online or an in-person speaking you want to come in with that intro that is not just hey or assalamu alaikum nice to meet you i am kalila how are you we want to do something a bit different we want to hook them in with that intro that one-liner or that story like you saw in some of those examples let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps me to be able to continue pushing out content and just grow in this channel for you. Being unapologetically Muslim, being a speaker, using our skills and expertise without needing to hide and still gaining success while sacrificing none of our values ever, not one, inshallah. May Allah make it and accept it and allow us to continue to grow. Keep speaking, keep inspiring, and inshallah, I will see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.